Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna go over how to run Fortnite right here in your phone. Now, it doesn't really matter which iPhone you've got, but obviously, if you've got a newer iPhone, it's gonna run slightly faster. You do not have to download Fortnite onto your phone in order to play it, and you don't have to download any apps for that matter. So I'm gonna teach you how to do that right now. So the first thing you wanna do is open up Safari, and I'm just gonna turn off my lights so you guys can see a little bit better. But anyways, just type in GeForce Now. Once you type in GeForce Now, you're gonna see the first option. It should say GeForce Now. Go right into it. And this is the website where everything takes place. So I do wanna mention that you could get this for free. So it, it is a free service, free membership, but there also is a paid membership that you guys can go on for. So right here, you guys will see that. I don't have the paid membership, I have the free one. And with the free one, it just takes a little bit longer, but I would start off using it for free and then consider getting the membership if you guys really like it. But other than that, you can always play for free. So there's no need to do that. Anyways, you're gonna notice up here, if you tap there, you're gonna see membership. Just tap on membership, go into allow. So all the way down, you will see this and there's several options or you can just join for free. Once again, we can always go to paid later on, but join for free now. So once you join for free and you did all that, just go up here on the top right. So again, that's gonna be all the way on the top you're going to see this icon for profile and on the profile if you just go down just a little bit you're going to see this geforce now the membership is free and we can go on into play now you're going to see this welcome to geforce now you can go on and just browse games or just set up right now what you want to do is set up right now so set up to play you're going to see these steps and once again i'm going to turn off my light so you guys can see a little bit better so step one is to share that's down here below you're going to see this icon in the middle you're gonna share. Then you're just gonna choose to add to home screen. And then from your home screen, you're gonna launch that. It's that easy. So we're gonna do that right now. Once you press on share, you're gonna see all this stuff. Just scroll down until you see this, where it says add to home screen. We're gonna add it on. Just leave it as is. You could change it to whatever name you want, but I'm just gonna leave it as is. Press on add. And then from here, you're gonna see this. This is not an app that you just downloaded. You just create it quick access to it basically so let's just open it up we're gonna see this a uh, green continue all right so from here what you want to do is don't look for the game just yet there's a ton of games that we can play go on the top right hand corner you're gonna see this icon to log in just make sure to log in right now so this is my login i'm just gonna go into continue and i'm fully logged in press on done you can go ahead and take a look to make sure that you're logged in so it says logged out account that means i'm logged in you can search for any games that you like or just play any of these. There's a ton of games that you guys can play, which includes Fortnite. So right now, here we have Fortnite, or I can just look for it up here. I can just type in Fortnite if you don't see it right away. And as soon as you start typing in Fortnite, it's going to pop up. Just tap on it and then just press play. Now, when you're logging into GeForce and you get something like this, reconnect account. Just go right into your settings and from here you're going to see what you need to reconnect. In this case, I need to reconnect this account, my Epic Games. It's going to tap on there and just make sure to sign in with whichever makes sense to you. So if you have a PlayStation, most likely you signed in using your PlayStation or Xbox, play, Xbox. maybe you created an Epic account. So go right into your Epic account. Technically, whichever way you signed up, these would be your Epic accounts, if that makes sense. So right now, I'm just going to tap on the first option. And once you log in, all you have to press is done. And right now, you should see that it's all connected. So right now, it says disconnect. Uh, I could connect this if I want to. I could connect Steam if I wanted to. But all I need really is Epic Games at the moment. Once you're done that, you can go back into games. Launch Fortnite. We're going to tap on play. It's going to connect up. So once we tap on play, you're going to see this looking for next available. So this is the thing when it's not paid membership, you do have to wait quite a bit. If you pay, you won't, or you won't wait that long at all, actually. But right now we have uh, 27, 26 gamers ahead of me, which is not bad. Sometimes it's 80, 100, <laughs> 200. So you have to wait quite a while. At this point, there's really nothing that we can do, but just wait until the game starts. I guess while we wait for it to connect, I could mention that if you don't have an Epic Games account, you haven't played Fortnite before, you can just go into Safari and make one up right now. So actually, even before doing this, you should go into Safari, just go into epicgames.com, 
create an account. Uh, it's just going to ask you for your email, then create a password. I would activate 2FA if possible. If you can't, no big deal. But it's good to have 2FA just for your own security. But anyways, once we are all ready, it's going to say loading. And that's it. We're about to play Fortnite right here on your phone. So at this point, most likely you're not going to want to play Fortnite like this. Turn it to the side. And here you go. Get ready to play Fortnite. Let's go. Accept. And we're going to log in. As you guys can see, I didn't download Fortnite. I didn't have to update Fortnite. If you're using GeForce now, that's how it works. And this is exactly how it's supposed to work. So I'm just gonna go here, do my rewards. I'm gonna equip the guys, equipped. And here I am. So at this point, you can just log into any game mode, squads or anything else. I'm just gonna play right away so you guys can see. I'll do squats. There is sound. I just turned off the sound so it doesn't get in my way from you guys seeing this. I'll, I guess I'll turn off the lights now so you guys can see a little bit better. All right, so we're going to load into the game. Everything's going to be normal. Oh, you guys can get rid of this, by the way. It doesn't have to be there. All right, so we just load into the game as normal. And it's just going to be a normal game. If you guys haven't played with mobile before then this would be a different experience. But here we go. So how slow will this be? How much lag do you get? Well, it does depend on your internet speed, obviously, but you don't technically need that much internet speed with GeForce now. And that's the point of GeForce itself. Okay, now I can see that my lights don't make really a difference. I'm just gonna turn on the lights again. I'm just gonna land in anywhere, really. And there we go. We get to play some Fortnite. I didn't land with my teammates, but it's okay. A little bit of lag there. We're gonna try to see how much lag we get, actually. There we go. All right, but that's how you guys can um, just play Fortnite on your phone, whichever iPhone you've got. This will work with Android as well. I do want to mention that. That would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.